Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, welcome to our second Paul Reid Foundation Animal Ball and the first ever awards and recognition evening. Firstly, we'd like to thank you all for coming this evening. Without your support, this event would not be possible. As a family, we've paid the ultimate price due to a catalogue of errors as a result our very special brother Paul lost his life. Since Paul's passing, we have been on an often sad but very interesting journey so far. At the start, there were many challenges and obstacles to overcome which felt like unsurpassable mountains. With many avenues we could have taken, we decided and made a choice to sit alongside the NHS and put words into action rather than wallow in self-pity. Back in January 2014, the launch of the Care Bundle for Improving Care for People with a Learning Disability, a huge step forward. Jane and I truly thought we'd made it. Our work was done, our goal was achieved. However, we soon came across a bigger obstacle the challenge of implementation, and soon realised there were many further mountains to conquer, mountains we're still climbing today. The key to positive change, we believe, is persistence, passionate people, and leading by actions. We now feel that learning disability is on a journey of positive change, which is truly evident by the incredible work that is being put into action by so many people within the NHS across Wales, particularly some of our guests here tonight and also those featured in the recognition booklet which my sister will take, through, take you through next. Although so much work has been done, we feel there is a genuine positive buzz around learning disability in the health service at the moment. There is still yet lots to do. Current key priorities include the care bundle implementation, specialist learning disability liaison nurse service, which is fantastic in ABMU, flagging system, learning disability champions, which make, make it such a difference, and well, that will become evident later, and mandatory training. Creating a common standard will ensure a consistent quality service across Wales and make us UK leaders in learning disability. And finally from me, I may have sadly lost a brother, but I still have a nagging, pushy, more confident, loving, caring, passionate, clever, driven sister. And without her by my side, we would have never been able to take this challenging journey. Quoting words that are said a lot these days, but for me, I unconditionally believe but together, together, we are stronger. And we will continue to make a difference. But now I'd like to hand you over to my sister Jane. Or in Paul's words, Aya. Paul was a very sociable person. He would put his hand in the air, say Aya to everyone, if we, even if we knew them or not. One of Paul's favourite things was to have a party. Every time we had tea and cake, it would be a party. We had a lot of parties. Paul would have loved this this evening. 
In 2009, when Paul tragically died, there was no awareness training or guidelines for staff to use in secondary care when dealing with patients with a learning disability. This has now changed. And tonight is about us saying, because our mum and dad always told us we have to say thank you, so tonight is about us saying thank you. Paul didn't say thank you, Paul always said ta. To the inspirational people we have met on our journey, who have and still are making a huge difference to the healthcare of individuals with a learning disability across Wales. Our recognition booklet, which you've got on your tables, follows our timeline, and the timeline you can see on the wall out there has been a long journey. It shows the very special people are contained in this book, and they are in order of how we've met them. Our journey started after Paul died. We were desperate for answers and didn't know where to turn. This brings us to our first lady, Nikki Gilbert, regional advisor for Menka. She comforted and guided us. She was our lifeline for the first year. We would like you to now to personally thank in the booklet the people, individuals of year who are here with you this, us this evening. The first person I'd like to thank is Linda Bevan, Head of Nursing for Surgery in Morriston Hospital. Linda was our family liaison, not an easy job. We thank you so much, Linda, for the sincere empathy you showed us at such a difficult time. The next gentleman I'd like to thank and we'd like to thank is Mr Wayne Crocker, CEO of Men Cup Company. We thank you for your continued support. You're always there for us. We can't praise you enough for the terrific work that Men Cup does. The next lady is Professor Jean White, Chief Nursing Officer, who's here with us this evening. We thank you for keeping learning disabilities on the agenda, for being the voice of Wales on a national level, and for your continued unwavering, high-profile support you give to us. <coughs> then we'd like to thank Mr Christopher Griffiths and his wife Debbie, consultant nurse for ABMU. We thank you for your persistence to you keep fighting to achieve change. You are the person we turn to for advice. Your exceptional knowledge is to be admired. Leslie Bevan, Assistant Director of Nursing ABMU, we thank you for welcoming our involvement into the very first Pathway meetings. Chris and Leslie were the co-authors of the Learning Disability Care Bundle, the foundation of all our work. A tremendous piece of work that they should be both very, very proud of. Next, we'd like to thank our Dawn, Dawn Pellis, from Menka for the superb learning disability awareness training you presented across Wales and for being our companions at Paul's inquest. You made a horrendous experience bearable. Thank you, Dawn. Rachel Somerville from the community support teams and all the other ladies from the community the support teams in ABMU. We learned so much from you. The walkabouts we did in the hospitals in ABMU gave us a platform to build on for our work. Kath Thomas, senior nurse in theatres in ABMU, whose persistent hard work has produced a very safe environment for individuals with a learning disability. Melanie Davis, senior ward sister on G Ward in Morrison Hospital where Walpole died. Such a different place today to what it was when Walpole died. And the RCNI National Nurse of the Year for 2017. We are so proud of all the good work you do, Mel, and the exceptional person you are. You have helped to restore our faith in the NHS. We are pleased to call you our friend. You also come with an amazing family. Gayla Elmer. Gayla Elmer, learned discipline liaison nurse from Iron Bevan. Michelle Davis, Learning Disability Liaison Nurse for Nairon Bevan. Laura Andrews, Professional Lead, Learning Disability Nurse in Who Are There. Linda Phillips, Community Learning Disability Nurse Who Are There. And Rachel Morgan, Senior Lecturer of Nursing in the University of South Wales. You ladies and your relevant health boards and universities make a huge difference to the healthcare provided to a patient with a learning disability. The passion to make things better for people with a learning disability is to be commended. Aisy Powell, Nurse Director for Mental Health and Learning Disabilities, ABMU. We can't thank you enough. 
youth for source the funds for us to have our amazing liaison nurses and ABMU and we are making together so much difference and we are delighted you have joined the ABMU team. Joanna Edwards and Claire Jenkins walk to my side. when we talk about the amazing work you deliver, you two are making such a difference. Sharon Williams, Service Improvement Lead for Learning Disability Public Health Wales. The work you do is invaluable, Sharon. Nicola Williams, Nurse Director of ABMU. We thank you for your professional lead you give us on our Pathway Steering Group and for finding answers to obstacles we come across. Debbie Shaw from the Paul Red Foundation. We thank you for your invaluable support and your hard work in producing events such as this. This happened really easy. There wasn't much happening like this. And for putting up with both of us. Andy Jones, lead nurse for surgery from Cardiff and Vane. Your title is much longer than that, but I couldn't wait. <laughs> we call you the dynamic Andy Jones. You don't see obstacles, you just see results. And we look forward to working alongside you in the future. Mandy Jenkins and Leanne Hawker and the team from the Welsh Ambulance Service. patients with a learning disability have when accessing emergency care. Kath Palmer and Claire Howe, Welsh Assembly Government. The outcomes of the project you are working on is going to enhance the quality of lives of people with a learning disability. Thank you for that. Paula Phillips, Primary Care Liaison <laughs> Research is invaluable and your enthusiasm and dedication is to be praised. Phyllis Morgan, Lynn Gower, Sarah Guessa, we thank you for all your hard work within the foundation. These are our volunteers, things don't happen without volunteers, and these are true volunteers. I also need to thank my family, our family. We all say thank you, thank you. Without your support, none of this would be possible. We both go off, we do talks, we do training, we have meetings. Roger looks after the pub for me to go and Sean keeps a million balls juggling for Jonathan to go and we just can't thank them enough for that. I did the same as him, I also want to thank my brother Jonathan who's behind me. I'm so proud of all of them. Thank you. 